What's up YouTube? It's Mike with Oz and Reptiles. This is vlog number five. So I'm trying something a little new today, as you probably saw with this start. Showing off some of my clown ball pythons, the males and the females. So in this week's vlog, I'm going to show off more babies. I've had lots of babies hatching. And I'm going to show off some gems, some babies that have now shed out for the first time. Um, and I'm going to show you some clown ball pythons. So the other clutch that came out of the egg this week was uh, from this pairing. Now this snake here is a black pastel super stripe. And by the way, I got babies that might make this week's vlog. They're just starting to uh, pip out of the egg. A couple are out. But I had a clutch that has, I think, three or four black pastel super stripes in it. So if you're looking for a black pastel super stripe, definitely let me know. But this is the mom. The black pastel super stripe is very clean. That stripe on her. All right, she's the mom. All right, and dad. Dad has a little bit of stuck shed, so excuse that. But uh, I'm gonna show him off anyhow. I have to soak him again. He has some stuck shed here. But dad is, and get on his head. Dad is a black head hidden gene woma pastel. So this clutch has a lot of cool stuff in it, all right? So, as you can see in this clutch, there's some cool stuff. If you know, if you don't know about Super Stripe, Super Stripe is allelic, so every baby in here is either um, Spectre or Yellow Belly, all right? So even the ones that look almost normal still are gonna be Yellow Belly or Spectre. Everything else in here, has the uh, chance of having black pastel, hidden gene woma, black head, um, or regular pastel. So I'm gonna start with some of these more regular looking ones. This here is, I'm pretty sure, a hidden gene woma yellow belly or a hidden gene woma specter. So I think that is now. Hidden gene woma is a very cool uh, gene, and I'm starting to become a much bigger fan of it than I used to be. I don't know if you can see the sides on this thing. But that snake is pretty cool looking. Um, then we have this here looks like it might these two actually. Let's see what do we have. Let me untangle them. This here looks like just a single gene, either yellow belly or specter. Right there. Those flames. That's the single gene. This these both look like Pastel, so maybe one since they do look different. I mean, this one has a lot of blushing on the head there. Look at that. So these are one might be a pastel yellow belly, one might be a pastel specter. I think that's actually a pastel specter. And that might I don't even know. This might have something else other than just pastel yellow belly. Let me move those over there. Now these snakes here, the gems. Oh my gosh, I I don't even know what these are, but. <laughs> This one here I know is Hidden Gene Woma and Pastel, but I think it might also be Blackhead. People that know about Blackhead, let me know. Look at that head. And just look at the pattern on this snake. It's unreal. This snake is awesome. And then of course it's either Yellow Belly or Spectre on top of the Hidden Gene Woma and Pastel or whatever else is in there. All right, and then these three like purple looking snakes. I think these are all ones that may have the Black Pastel in it. So this is the darkest of all the snakes here. I'm thinking maybe black pastel, black head, um, yellow belly or specter. Maybe there's hidden gene woman in there too. Oh man, these things are so sweet. This one here might be everything actually because this one's really faded out. And so this one here might be black pastel, black head, hidden gene woman, pastel, Yellow belly or indoor specter, but just look at that thing. Look how I mean, it's just it's like silver and the patterns on the side. I mean, this thing's awesome. And then here again, I, I, I just I don't even know what is what. It might take a few sheds. I don't even know. If you know about uh, Hinjin Woma and Blackhead stuff, please chime in. Please comment below and let me know what you think about these snakes. I'm probably going to want to keep them all, but of course I will have to choose 
can't keep everything but man they're cool this one here is just blowing my mind I gotta come back to it look at that thing wow so yeah comment down below let me know what you think uh, last week's vlog didn't get as many views or as many comments um, you know let me know what you guys want to see talk to me all right All right, guys, so this is a super pastel bread to my tri-stripe mail. Um, so everything in here is pastel, and everything in here is 100% het tri-stripe. Someone actually recently asked me to show off uh, the parents, so I will do that. This is mom. Mom's already back up over 2,000 grams. That's mom, the super pastel. And I will show you my tri-stripe mail real fast as well you can focus back in on them I'll grab the mail and this is my tri-stripe mail so he's dad that was mom all the babies there's like I think eight or nine of them in there are all pastel 100% het tri-stripes now most of them look like pastels but there's one in here that has a really cool I'll show you a few this might be the one yeah I think this is the guy so I'm noticing with het tri stripes that sometimes you get like some markers I mean just for regular pastels though look at some look at the blushed out heads on some of these guys this guy here I want to show you at the end just how blushed out the heads are very busy pastels but again just regular pastels that are 100% het tri stripe. So the uh, eight ball 100% het tri stripe uh, clutch. So all the cinnamons, they almost all look like cinnamons to me, but I think there's one that's a black pastel. I had a really high male ratio. I think I had six males and two females in that clutch. This clutch here, I have not sexed. I literally just been just came out of the egg a day or two ago. This one here is actually going in the shed, so maybe three days ago. I hope they have a higher female ratio, but if you're looking for a pair, like a male-female pair of head tri-stripe, 100% head tri-stripe stuff, definitely let me know. I'm definitely keeping a female from both and maybe a male from both, but this one here I'm keeping for sure. The tail on this one is just like so much less pattern on it. I don't know how to say it the right way, but it just is different than all the others. And when this one came out and I noticed that, I was like, I'm definitely keeping that one. Just look at the tail like here, and then this guy's tail. So this one here, male or female, I'm keeping it. This one, just something cool about that one. But I noticed the same thing with some of the, the cinnamon head tri-stripes, that they have a lot more striping on them than maybe your normal cinnamon. But again, just wanted to show that clutch out. They just came out of the egg. So this is another clutch that has come out of the egg. This is Dad. Dad's a black pastel ivory. He is in hardcore shed right now. I don't know if you can see his eyes. And I noticed with him he turns very pinkish orange when in shed. But yeah, this is a black pastel ivory. And you would probably never have been able to notice that unless you bred him and proved it out. Mom is a... Mom is a specter. This is mom. And that black pastel ivory and this specter are the parents of the big black pastel super stripe. That's the mother of one of the other clutches in this vlog. So again, specter is very similar to yellow belly. To be honest, I couldn't even tell you how to tell them apart other than breeding them and making super stripes if it's a specter yellow belly and uh, ivories if it's a super yellow belly. So I hit awesome odds though. Uh, almost every super stripe I think is actually a black pastel super stripe and there is a, four or five of them actually I think there's one regular super stripe so here's a black pastel super stripe this one here I think is the regular super stripe but I'm not even sure that might also be a black pastel super stripe I think it's the regular though see the little bit of difference a little darker here so one regular super stripe and it looks like is it one two four black pastel super stripes 
And the Black Pastel Super Stripes are looking really nice. And then I hit on, I think, two or three of these Black Pastel Yellow Bellies. Which, when they shed out, the oranges on these guys is really cool. And then one just regular Yellow Belly. But another cool clutch. Most of it, if not all of this clutch, will be for sale. Um, I might hold back another one of these Black Pastel Super Stripes. We'll see. Uh, yeah, another cool clutch. This here is the double recessive lightning pied VPI Xanthic pied female. Probably going to be a keeper. In this same clutch, I did hit the VPI Posset pied and the pied Posset VPI. I just wanted to show off some of the gems that have now shed out. Now it is high white. I wish it had a little more pattern, but hey, I'm not going to complain. I'll take that the tail. All right, here's another gem that is shed out. This is a GHI Chocolate Ghost. Um, I also produced a GHI Ghost. This one here is just much darker, which is why I think this is the chocolate one. Um, they, both of them actually are also Pos uh, Het Desert Ghost as well. But that's definitely cool. This one I think is, yeah, this is a female. The other one is a male. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this one though, we'll see. I wanted to show off some of the gems now that they've shed out. Alright, so this girl did sell actually, but I figured I'd show her off one more time before she uh, ships out. This is the GHI Lesser Albino Possible Chocolate. Um, the female, I'm pretty sure it's the world's first. This girl's really nice. I love the striping she has down her back. I don't know if you can see it on her back tail here. The orange is coming here. Um, I still have the male. He still is up for sale. I may end up just keeping him though. Because I didn't want to keep one of them originally. But again, just want to show off some of these gems. So that's it for this week's vlog. The end of vlog 5. Uh, I'm going to end it with this um, mystic clown that I produced this year. A little female. Uh, to show her all it. So I probably wouldn't have cut this out. But this little girl just bit me right on my finger as I was ending the vlog. But again, this is my mystic clown female. I am going to keep this girl. She is eating well and apparently is feisty. Uh, and I uh, just wanted to show her off. And I don't want to get bit again, so I'm not going to open her up too much. Uh, but yeah, she got me pretty good on my finger just now. All right. Osmond Reptiles out.